I guess. Well, I'm here to talk to you about the most important tip that uh, you can probably know, or the most important way you can win your games. It's a bit of a process of thinking, which is basically starts with a quote by Sung Shu or whatever his name is from The Art of War. If you know your enemy and you know yourself, you basically won the battle. It's a longer quote than that, but I ain't gonna say the whole thing. Like, even Guan Yu in, in game, it says it. Like, here's the voice. Know of your enemy. Know yourself. And victory should be already won, whatever. Anyways, the whole point of it is if you know your, your enemy's abilities and your own damage potential, you really don't need to worry and you don't need to, like, hack it. You can win the fight pretty much, pretty easily. Now, I'm gonna show you a couple clips. Some of them I win, some of them I don't. Depends. <laughs> Just kidding. But here's how I pro uh, how it processed. In this next two clips, I'm gonna show you Guan versus Nike. In this lane, I've already died twice, and I've been bullied the hell out. Early game sucks a little bit for Guan, but I get through it. Not really dying twice. It's not that good. But let me show you. We'll, we'll go through it slowly. What's her damage? That's clear. So I wouldn't normally go in there. Uh, because, like I said in the video, he, he used her clear slash damage. So I'm, there's not much for me to worry about. Remember, most of the gods have either a way to get out, which is a jump or a dash. Or if they don't, like for example, Varen, they have CC to get your get away from you. So you just have to take in mind those abilities that can cover distance. And let's say you know platinum or gold. You, the most important thing is distance. How you can cover yourself from the enemy's damage potential. If you have a dash, I won't be able to get to you, and I won't be able to do your damage. So you, the first thing you have to consider are those abilities. You don't have to care about the damage. If you feel like you can kill them, then it's as easy as that. You don't have to care about that. Just mobility and ways to cover distance. Now let's continue. It's so dangerous, I gotta go. Okay. You really not commit to this? So I respect her damage. She jumps at me. I don't have enough mana to just kill her with one ability because she still has her ult i know she has her ultimate and her first her first ability which is her damage will come up soon so this is not yet a battle i want to take i have my horse i might be able to have enough mana with the warrior's blessing proc and the mana now there i would have actually died if I didn't dash away from the first ability. If she hit any of the two, I would have died. She committed really hard, but she didn't really commit. Because we both would have died. Enemy ultimate down. Well, we basically reset. I get tier 2 at least. That was risky, but... I do not get tier 2. It's more expensive now. Great. I had to back either way. It was a half piece. Give me that ass! I have full stack, so this stun lasted even longer. Lucky me, huh? Alright, so in that fight, I was, I mean, that was an easy take. I was full HP, I just teleported back. Her ultimate was down. And even if she jumped away, which I forced her jump after my abilities, I waited for the jump. I horsed, at, you know, into her. If I were to horse to start with, she could have jumped over a wall and it would be harder for, for the horse to chase. So I just waited for the right direction. And you'll see that later on. Why that's important. Alright. So I win this fight. Okay. And then we'll continue on. And, really and see that I, I'm running out of mana. I'm getting bullied out again. They're blue. Looks like I get it. So here's where we're, we're, we're basically at the same situation that we were before. Basically no mana. 
below 50% and she's winning, right? So let's let's continue to see what ha what's happening. We all have our cooldowns back. She has her ultimate, I have my ultimate. All abilities are up at this moment. <laughs> Now, she just jumped. Basically, I have no mana, but just look at my reaction. Seriously, if you wanna. If you wanna jump at me when I have my horse, you're free to do so, dude. Sorry, I hesitated to do that. I was like, wait, did she really just do that? And I was like, wait, I can just ult her, right? I can just do 500 damage with my ult. Basically, I had to apologize for how slow I thought about that. I mean, I had to wait for the mana to get my ult, but still, that was a pretty slow reaction. She already jumped into my tower. That was a free kill. Even with her ultimate, she was pretty low, and her second ability gives her more shield. So... As easy as that, she used her jump, her only way to escape my horse, allowing me to do what? Let me see how much damage was that, 500? You're free to do so, dude. <laughs> Sorry I hesitated to do that, I was like, wait, did she really just do that? And I was like, wait, I can just ult her, right? I can just do 500 some, some odd damage, it's pretty strong. I was able to do most of my damage through the horse, so that worked out perfectly. She, I had, a, because I had a lot of respect for that player at that moment. I mean, I, I died twice to her, and she knows what she's doing, but she constantly jumped into tower, had no respect for my damage, and I knew I could do a shit ton of damage for her, so there you go. I just had to know her abilities and mine. Now, here's how I get outplayed in this clip. We'll go with this one. Yeah, no thanks guys. Are you, you have defense somehow? Hello? Alright, so what happened there? Like I said, I have to force the dash away. Cause if I am caught in a really bad angle with the horse, there's really no way for me to come back from it. So she took all my abilities. She took the Tallow Assault and the Dash. She took all the basic attack damage because she knew I had horse. So instead of panicking and dashing right away, allowing me to, you know, just keep, keep at her, she waited for the moment I turned the horse around to dash away. And that was pretty good. And I commend her for that. All right, there you go. That was a good dash by her. Good moment to do it. Uh, debatable. Debatable indeed. I'm gonna body block here. Oh, I can't body block that. I'm silly. Also, in that case, there were five people. Five people? Yeah, five people walking at me. So, there was no way for me to get out. Not really. With not, not on my cooldowns. And I already had anti heal. So, I just turned around and killed whoever as I can. As much as I can. Come on! You're so low! Come on, give me your ass! Give me your ass! Alright, 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 Time to outplay. Spoiler alert. I don't actually outplay anybody. But, the. Time to outplay. Oh, I tried to dodge that. Mm. Oh, here's the thing. Even though this kills me, I always walk to my teammates because they can help me. Sometimes your teammates don't notice and it might mess you up, but it's important to walk towards your teammates or to a tower. Either or. You just walk to a plain old jungle with nothing to help you with. Killing. There you go. But I die for it. Oh shit, this guy's ending the game. Is he gonna do it? He, he does it. He wins the game. So that's basically it, guys. Just make sure you know the abilities. Like, if you don't know all the enemy abilities, just try to make sure you know at least the 
their escapes. Because that's the most important part. If, if you can win that fight, of course. So, the things you should know at this point. It's respect the enemy damage. Know your own damage potential. See if you can fight. And if you're a burst, burst character, try to throw away your burst. If you can't kill, don't stay there and basic attack. You know, sometimes it's good, you know, when you know the enemy team's not there. But staying in and basic attacking is really not the... Well, when I play Thanatos, that's basically the idea of how I play it. But it could be different. Either or, I think my point went through. I hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm thinking about doing more of these vi type of videos. Now, I would also like to give credit to Not Paradox, which is a, a hot guide type of video maker, whatever you call it, content creator. Uh, I took a lot of inspiration in the format of this video from him. So I like to just throw, away, throw some credit at him. And again, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.